é o terceiro episódio da playlist Reação Gringa. Hoje nossos amigos novioquinos dizem o que agem de programas antigos da televisão brasileira. It's like Britney Spears. I think they all want to be cheerleaders. Their, the fashion is incredible. Like they're a marching band behind her. This is definitely like one of those music videos I would have watched as a kid and used as a workout video. Well, if the kids are dancing, at least it's good exercise. Is this for kids? Because if so, I want to be a kid in your country. This is definitely for kids. She's like a cartoon character. Is this like a version of the voice with a lot of extra help from the audience? Looks like, a, looks like America's Got Talent. If she was like, if this wasn't 80, she'd definitely be like Ariana Grande. Like one of those Nickelodeon transformed into, like Hannah Montana. Sounds like a Santa Claus song. I'm still just amazed this is geared for kids. They are hot. I want to be dancing with her. Not the best dancer I've ever seen. Not totally coordinated. And this is the same singer. Yeah, I can tell by the shortness of her skirt and... and he looks like some Mario superhero brothers, the little things you step on when you're playing the game. Is that a turtle? Okay, but why do we have nutcrackers and a ninja turtle? I don't get the ambience. And cheerleaders. And her backup dancers are so... This is so cute. Why does she get backup dancers? I need backup dancers. Oh my god, wishes do come true! Now this shit is scary looking. Is he a dog? No, he's a he's a pig. I don't know if he's a dog or a person or a doggy person. He has a lot of stuff stored in his cheeks. He's got like these two huge testicles, his cheeks. What kind of, what kind of kid show is this? This is like if you took that Muppet that plays the piano and shaved his face, this is what you'd get. He looks like the little mole that used to dig around in my backyard. This is scary. If I was a kid, I would just be like, mommy, turn this off, he's too ugly for me. This is scary. This guy is scary. Like, look at his face. Why would you want your kid to watch this? What's a pudding head? Is he talking about himself? All he's doing is insulting everybody. Oh, well, Mr. Yakim is a pudding head. He has an alligator mouth. Oh, he's talking about all his friends with such lovely adjectives. Melon head and watermelon. I don't think he likes his friends. Wood face, that's a good one. I'm gonna use that one. Make rhymes with people's names. That's mean. I don't, I don't know how y'all have self-esteem, really. It's like a lot of kids are scared of clowns, like, like my nieces, but this is like, you know, oh man. <laughs> These are like gymnast uniforms, but they're showing off way too much butt for me. They're very festive. It's like um, carnival every day. Well, that'd be a good life. Oh, and booty. Carnival and booty. Could life be better? This is like uncut TV. I like how everybody just wears thongs in every one of these videos. Americans don't wear thongs like that on television. <laughs> And these chicks don't even care that they have guts. They're just putting it out there. And there are children in the audience. So all these little kids in butts. What do you think of this guy with the hat? He looks foolish, number one, but I'm not sure if he wants to be a superhero. He looks, he looks like a superhero clown. Is he a superhero though? Why does he have an S on his chest? Is that Brazilian Superman? <laughs> Is it? That's, that's the best Brazil has to offer in the Superman category. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>